I want to show you how to make your own Kumihimo uh, disc so that you can do your own weaving for a, a braided chain like this. I'm, if I accidentally say weaving, it's because it kind of is similar to some of the weaving that we've done, um, but it's actually a type of braiding. And so what you need is just a scrap piece of cardboard and an easy way to make the marks around the edges, because we want it to look something like this, is to take your piece of cardboard and fold it in half like a taco and then take like a pencil, I'll use a marker so you can see, um, and just make a line about half an inch right at the edge of that fold and do that on both sides and then fold it like a taco the other way and do that exact same thing. That will give you four points, kind of like you would see on a compass. Um, and then all you have to do is find about halfway between each one of those and make a mark about the same length. And the reason you're mar marking these off is because you're going to cut a slit onto each mark or cut a slit into the cardboard and that's where you're going to put the string when you start the braiding process. So I'm just going to cut and it's okay if your cuts are not exactly the same on each one. Um, if one's a little longer or shorter than the other ones it won't really hurt anything. Um, so here we go. I need to cut eight slits total so that should be all eight. Now I've gone over to the yarn store and I've gone shopping and I've got seven strings and I've tied them in a knot. Now what I need to do is make a hole in the center and if I used a hole puncher it would almost make the hole a little bit too big and the string would fall out so what I'm going to do instead is just take since I have that X, or it's kind of like a cross where I folded it, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just make a cut, um, not super long, just like a little slit right there, and then I'm going to fold it the other way and make a slit across that slit so that it's like a little X in the center, like this. That's going to give me a nice little spot where I can stick the string, the knot of the string through, and I'm just going to hold on to those tails down there. And then here's how I set it up. I'm going to take the strings and put one in each one of those slits on the edge. So there's one, two, three, four, put it up here, five, six, and seven. Now, um, the interesting thing about this is you're always going to have one empty slot, and the easy way to do this rating technique is um, keep that empty slot at the bottom and then what you do is I always start on the left side so the left side from the bottom and I just grab one two three the third one up and bring it across those two there and put it into the empty slit and then I turn the whole thing upside down and I count up one two three and grab that one that's three away pull it down to the empty slit turn the whole thing around two, three, drag it down. This is very similar to the paper plate weaving if you've ever done that. Um, and the process is really cool because then um, as you keep doing that, your chain or your braid actually grows down below. Um, so on the top it always looks the same and it, this design keeps getting pushed through. So it takes a little bit to get started, but once you get the hang of it, it goes really fast. Um, you can turn this into a keychain or a bookmark or a bracelet or you know something to tie into your hair. So um, if you mess up your cardboard, it's easy to start over, or if it tears or something like that, it's no big deal to quickly make another one. Um, and it's something you can make at home pretty easily, and you could use all different kinds of uh, thread for this. I've seen people use wire um, to make a design for like actually like, you know, uh, armor or something like that. Um, I've seen him use, well, or for jewelry, jewelry wire for sure. Um, and I've also seen him use like embroidery th th thread, embroidery floss or embroidery thread uh, to do the same thing. Um, and then the designs are a little bit more elegant and slim. They're not quite so bulky, um, but it makes a really cool design. So have fun. Enjoy.